Jack Nicholson, it was fun having you as the Joker, but since Joker died since 1989, spoiler alert, let Danny DeVito take the villain role, okay? Give him some space, please. Besides, I have three more Batman films to review before the Lego Batman movie hits the theaters. We all need courtesy in these parts, just saying. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody, Jesus here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Batman Returns. The monstrous penguin, played by previously mentioned Danny DeVito, who lives in the sewers beneath Gotham, teams up with wicked shock-headed businessman, Max Shrek. Which sounds like the animated character Shrek, but this Shrek in the DC universe is played by none other than Christopher Walken. Anyways, they're playing the top of the Batman once and for all. But when Max's timid assistant, Selena Kyle, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, finds out, Max tries to kill her, but she is then transformed into the attractive Catwoman. She then teams up with the Penguin and Max to destroy Batman, but sparks fly unexpectedly when she confronts with the Cape Crusader herself. Now, Tim Burton, don't get your hopes up just yet. Negatives come before positives, for this movie at least. I'm still buying the first one on Blu-ray, but I gotta say, the visual and practical effects were somewhat decent. I mean, one of the issues I have about this movie was the animatronic penguins that THE Penguin has in this movie. I mean, they look like some kind of cheesy Steven Spielberg machinery that Tim paid $100 for. $100 is not enough. You need at least expensive money than that to pay for good-looking animatronics. It just felt cheap to me. The other issue is Michelle Pfeiffer's acting as Catwoman. Well, I know some of you would say, what rock are you living under? Michelle Pfeiffer was the best as Catwoman. I don't know. She acts sexy, but in a weird and uncomfortable way, for my opinion at least. I mean, she came off as creepy and like a pervert, if you ask me. Whenever she squares up with Batman, spoiler alert, not only that, kids out there, but make sure you have your parents with you for this part, because it can get a little awkward. But one of the most inappropriate things she would do is that she would put her hands on his body and feel his waist in privates. And in one scene where Batman's accused of pushing an innocent woman off a building, after he gets shot by the officers, ahem, <clears throat> Catwoman licked his face. Well, then again, I know other animals do that, but in a way Michelle does it, yuck, was that disgusting? But what really worked for this movie for me was the story, plotline, execution, and cinematography. It still feels like a Batman story that throws the unexpected at you, and that's the important thing about it, which is cool. Also, the story is abusive, but in a way that fits what I envisioned. You remember my Rugrats movie review? I don't think I actually said it in my review. But since the story was abusive in that movie, it doesn't really fit what I envisioned for it to look like for a movie like that. Whereas this movie's story is abusive, but it fits. Because to me, it's kind of like The Prince of Egypt, but for adults. And that fits with the character development articulation as well. The Penguin murders newborn babies! Almighty Lord forbid, he is one crazy madman, I gotta say. Which did overshadow the awesomeness that was Jack Nicholson's Joker in the first Batman movie, which is good. Also, the costume design still holds up to its standards, which is what I love. I kind of like the design on Catwoman's costume, to be honest. It has tiny stitches all over her body to make up a point that she's actually a psychopath, which is executed really well, neat on that. But in the end, Batman Returns was good, but not as good as the first one. It was intriguing, but in a couple of scenes, you may get uncomfortable with Catwoman, which was a bummer. But other than that, I rate Batman Returns four out of five stars. Doesn't mean that it was terrible. It's just that Catwoman made it a little cringy to me. That's all. So Batman Returns. Have you seen it? If you haven't, let me know in the comments which Batman film in the Tim Burton series or in the Christopher Nolan series so far is perfect for you. But if you have, come back and let me know what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for that review. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.